Hey everyone, this is Burhan here from Light Pulp and uh, last video which I posted on this channel, I saw that you know I posted a video which which was off topic. It was about uh, music and I I just you know I, the reason I uploaded it was because I just like that music and I know it's very old and stupid. You can find it on other like, videos also, but I just you know and just to tell some people i don't know if you think that but if you think for example i downloaded someone else's like someone else uploaded the video of that music and yeah i just downloaded the video and just put its music tracks to show that i also have this but no i actually have a dsi over here which i'll show you i was actually using this to record all the tracks and as you can see it's the proper software and it does play that right hmm. Oops. see as you can see it does actually play that but anyways we're getting off top uh, again off topic here so this video is about not mcu and about an, another thing which i um, thought was a problem especially for me so as you can see i have an esp32 and an, an esp8266 which i showed you in an earlier video that you how to make it into a wi-fi deauthor anyway so i i had this issue with my not mcu whenever i would be you know for example wanting to use it as you see this is also my battery pack which i showed you in an earlier video of how to power not mcu okay so as you can see the uh, this is the gst xh connector which i connect to these headers on it which and one of them is here uh, two of these here named g and d win and g and d now one problem which i had was either i would connect the con uh, connector backwards or somewhere else which would you know for example g and d and rst in between them which would definitely damage the board Though it did not damage the board, but I thought over time my board will actually burn or something. So I thought of the solution which actually worked pretty well and I wanted to share it with you guys. So as you can see, this is a normal GSTXH connector which I salvaged from a, an LED, uh, LED board uh, some months ago. Actually two of these. This is the other one. And I, uh, I removed one of the connector's legs and put it on the head and I put it on these headers on this Nord MCU of the Win and GND and thought like you know maybe it will help me connect the wires to the proper area and it did actually work so I'll show you how to do that in a second but most of you will be like uh, this will be wasting the connector if we buy a connector and just take out its headers or legs inside this well i wanted to tell you you can salvage this from any board or some sort of amplifier laying around which i'll show you in a moment as you can see this is uh, this uh, amplifier circuit was made in another video which i connected four of these speakers to and it worked pretty well this was the first video i uploaded on the channel now as you can see here it has the same connectors and you can get these type of connectors from such boards for example i had a if i, I had a burnt board of the amplifier i would definitely take the connectors out of it and this heat sink this capacitor if it was working and this potentiometer so that's how you can get things and it's also the salary so yeah you can salvage things from boards you know for example if you have a broke something electronic which is broken never throw it you can also salvage connectors from here Though these are not the GST connectors, but, uh, like these normal standard GST XH. These are some sort of, I guess, GST 2.0 connectors because these are really small. So, yeah. So, you, uh, as you can see, the first thing you need to do is take this connector and get yourself one of these pliers. Now, I'll show you what to do in a second okay so i put my I set my phone on a speaker because you know i don't have a camera tripod or something so first thing you'll take and do is this uh, take this connector here and 
the pliers now as you can see mine has glue around it so I'll just take off the glue first which I hopefully think will pull out the legs also <laughs> okay now as you can see I've pulled out the legs with the glue which is nice you can keep these headers they'll be useful I guess later on uh, and here is the empty connector I have two empty shells of these which I'll connect one to my ESP32 and one to my not MC because I've done this thing before now you as you can see I, uh, I have my not MCU here and you see these VIN and GND connectors which are power in and ground okay so I don't know which direction I'll put it in because I, I do not know the polarity of my battery but I do remember this that the wire with the lines these red lines or pink red lines the uh, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal whatever is your case you just have to remember that and as you can see I I will connect the lines to my wind terminal which will be like this because this is the this is the one terminal and this is the positive connector uh, positive wire connector and when I connect this my ESP 8266 should light up yes as you can see it's lighting up and booting to the the author firmware in there though I am having a lot of problems with it nowadays and many people are on github anyway so now I know which direction I'll put my uh, which I'll put my wire in which direction and as you can see remember this how it's looking you know these prongs which slide inside the connector to lock I, I like it's used as a lock mechanism anyway so you take it out and as you can see these uh, lines over here they're going to slide over here in the hollow part like this uh, and you can see it's locked so now i know that i have to connect my connector to the nord mcu like this and so i will t uh, put it like this in on the headers here and now push it properly though my pins are not being bent so that's a good thing and as you can see I will never connect it backwards again look and it's working and now for example if I have this in my pocket and you and this battery and I am in a you know like hurry to take someone off my network or a hacker so I'll I, I don't have to go around poking it like this I'll just have to do this one time just like this and it's locked it won't even come off loosely or something and you will never connect it backwards or somehow i hope this helps you and yeah let's test it on the esp32 also win and ground wait i'll connect it like this also <laughs> there i have a connect i have it connected and as you can see i plug it in and it's working that's a nice sign the red led is on so yeah i hope this helps you and I hope this also saves you not MCU for or ESP32 and ESP266 from burning or any other board because you know many other boards like an Arduino Nano and Arduino Pro Mini. This I hope I guess you know according to the pinout this will work as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.